For safety purposes, the actors in this film were unable to fully demonstrate the force sometimes required to perform the five back blows and five abdominal thrusts. For real, you may need to use substantially more force when administering these procedures. The general advice is to start gently and increase force until you expel the foreign body. And of course, take care to protect the choking victim at all times. <coughs> Fella. Nick, you're choking. Stand up, mate. Stand up. Lean forwards on the table, mate. Big coughs. Come on. Cough it up. <coughs> Keep coughing, mate. <coughs> the ability to recognise and assess a choking victim is key to removing whatever is obstructing the airway. Visual signs include evidence the casualty has been eating, and the casualty may also clutch at the neck. <coughs> Assess severity by asking the victim, are you choking? In the case of a mild airway obstruction, a conscious victim ought to be able to speak, breathe and have an effective cough. If this is the case, encourage the choking victim to cough to remove the airway obstruction. Nick, you alright mate? Nick, you choking? <coughs> yeah. Stand up fella, stand up, stand up, lean forwards, big coughs mate, big coughs mate, big coughs. <coughs> Keep going. Cool. <coughs> That's better, mate. That's better. Is that it? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Is that all of it? Yeah. Deep breaths, fella. Deep breaths. <sighs> nice and slow. Yeah. In this case, an effective cough has yeah. removed the obstruction. Sat down, fella. Chair's right behind you, mate. Right behind you, mate. Oh. You all right? Yeah. Continue to check the casualty for any signs of deterioration and refer them to hospital if the cough persists, if the casualty has difficulty swallowing, or if they continue to have the sensation of something stuck in their throat. In the case of a severe airway obstruction, coughing alone may not expel the foreign body to relieve the victim's choking. If it is a severe airway obstruction, the victim is unable to speak and may nod in response to the question, are you choking? The victim is unable to breathe, breathing sounds wheezy, and attempts to cough are silent. You okay? Stand up, mate. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Lean forward on the table. Bend the victim forward and perform a maximum of five back blows between the shoulder blades with the flat of your hand. If that doesn't expel the foreign body, prepare to administer a maximum of five abdominal thrusts. Let's look at that movement again in slow motion. Place your arms around the casualty, form one hand into a fist and place that hand just below the rib cage. Then link your arms. Now, pull sharply inwards and upwards. This raises the diaphragm and increases pressure within the lungs to expel the object. Attempt a maximum of five abdominal thrusts. Yeah. Deep, nice deep breaths, mate. Nice deep breaths. You okay? Yeah. Nice and calm, mate. Deep breaths. Is that all of it? Yeah. If your first attempt is unsuccessful, repeat the cycle of five back blows followed by five abdominal thrusts as necessary. Nice deep, slow Victims who have had abdominal thrusts performed on them must be referred to hospital because of the risk of internal bleeding. Let's return to a severe airway obstruction where the choking victim has an ineffective cough. Nick, you alright fella? Get up mate, stand up, stand up. This time however, the casualty collapses and becomes unconscious. This could happen in your care or before you get to them. Somebody help me in here, please! If the casualty does go unconscious, right, the priority is to check for danger and response, and to clear and open the airway, check for breathing. Oh, you're breathing. If the casualty is breathing and moving air past the obstruction, look for signs of blood or injury as you work your way through a secondary survey and prepare to roll the casualty okay. into the recovery position. Nice. Do this by placing the hand nearest to you in the how position, and resting the back of the opposite hand across the face. Go and get an ambulance. Nick's been choking. Come back and tell me that it's on its way, yeah? Take hold of the opposite knee and gently roll the patient into the recovery position. Lift the chin to ensure the airway is open and continue to check for breathing as you wait for help to arrive. It's on its way, Nick, all right? Stay there, mate. 